reporting in progress. Chase Lucas is joining us. Thanks for the time, Chase. Yep, anytime. Go straight to questions using the raised hand function. Start off with Chris. Hey, Chase, well, just uh, what would the veteran Chase Lucas tell the young Chase Lucas or the current freshman coming up, uh, all the things that you've learned to this point in time in your career? Oh, oh man, that's a hard one. I've been, uh, I've been really, really blessed to uh, be a part of a, of a program like this, you know, going from all stages from 2016 to 2021. And, you know, I've had a ball, but what I would tell my, what I would tell myself is just uh, lock in, you know what I mean? Like pay attention, do, do the things that, that is asked of you. And I think that's something that took me, you know, a couple of years to figure out and, uh, you know, deal with some uh, off the field things. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I would tell myself like everything ties in together. What you do off the field, it, it, you know, is, ex is exact representation of what, how you play on the field. So, uh, if I could tell any of the freshmen too, like I've been telling them this whole time, like, man, the party's always going to be there. You know what I mean? This Tempe is, 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 is full of, of great, you know, social life and atmosphere. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, you're here to play football and go to school and, you know, create a, a better life for yourself. So I just been telling the youngins, man, like, you know, the party's always going to be there. You know what I mean? Whether you're 19, 18, 25, 28, you know what I mean? It, it's always going to be there. So, Lock in, grind right now. Do everything that you can do to to put yourself in a bet, in a great position, and you know, rock out. And I feel like if I would have learned that, or if I had some some guys to show me that leadership, you know, when I was a freshman or sophomore, um, I don't know if I'd be here. But at, at the end of the day, I'm like I said, I'm blessed to 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 have been in this position, and you know, to help out the young guys too. Leo, hey Chase. Uh how are you kind of feeling at this point in, in, uh, in spring ball about the camaraderie and talent in that DB room this year? Obviously, you've been around for a while, but uh, is this group uh, different? Are you seeing something different about this group? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like, like I've been telling everybody, this is probably the most talented group I've ever been a part of. And uh, as well as the camaraderie, man, it's, it's something that you just got to see for yourself. You know, uh, we got 20-some 20, 20 guys in the, in the DB room and, not one person hates on another, you know what I mean? And that was something that, that I never, you know, had coming up here. You know, people were always trying to compete, but compete negatively. Like they would talk about each other, but I just feel like this, you know, this room is very special. Um, we got some young guys like Mason and Tommy and, and, and RJ that I came in to, to compete with us and to show us their talents. And then you got young guys like T Lee and uh, Jordan Clark, you know, stepping up big time and, 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 and I really give credit to, to me, you know, DP and Jack, because we push them guys every day. We push no matter what. I don't care what it is, if it's regular ball drills, if it's uh, watching film, I'm pushing everybody every day. And it doesn't even translate to the DB room. It translates to, to everybody, the offensive linemen, the running backs, everything. And I told everybody, like, man, I didn't come back here to, to be average. I didn't come back here to – to, to, to be good. I came back here to be legendary, to be great. And like I said to everybody, I'm gonna hold everybody to that standard. Jordan Ham. Hey Chase, hope you're well. Um, it seems like you've been a, a leader in the secondary since you, know, you were a sophomore, but how have you evolved and transformed as a leader now heading into a, another year and, and kind of trying to fill that role as much as you can? Uh, really, I have to, I have to really give, uh, a lot of the credit for my success for, for this past year and some changes really to Jack, man, Jack Jones, he, uh, uh, when he stepped in and came, you know, came back from, uh, Juco and we, everybody knew who Jack was, you know, I've played with him in the army, uh, the army all American game, but, you know, just having that, that presence, that, 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 uh, type of swagger, that type of athleticism that type of ball player that he is, like, it just kind of really, really just stepped up my game. Like, it, I was worried about my job, really. Like, I was like, man, look, this guy really came in to, to, to set some things up. And I felt like I needed to, to, to grow and I needed to, to, to have a reality check. And I believe that Jack was my reality check. And I feel like going on, man, we, we compete to be the best, but we're the best of friends. You know what I mean? And I believe that after I handled things off the field, everything started getting, you know, correlating to on the field and, and everything started happening for me good, positively. And for me, I just feel like I was a, a, a 
a, a role model or a leader in the secondary, but I wasn't a role model or a leader to the team. And I feel like that's why Coach Herm didn't put the C on my chest until this year because it was like I wasn't I wasn't vocal enough. I wasn't pushing everybody to be their best. I, I didn't I didn't even think I wanted to be the best. You know what I mean? I didn't know where my mindset was, but now going forward, all I care about is is this team. All I care about is um, my friends, my family, and, and and my brothers that play on this team. And I could care less about anything else. Um, I just want, I just know like moving forward, I want to put everybody in a great position to take care of their family and you know to really be legendary here at Arizona State. Michelle. Hi, Chase. Can you tell us about the decision that you made to come back? What went into that? And what what were the main reasons you came back? And also, what are you doing to work? What do you want to work on the most this year to get better? Uh, really, my my whole decision, it took me it took me a long time. It took me a couple of weeks. Um, really, I just had to talk to my friends and my family and really pray on it to my aunt. And, and I just had a decision to just be like, man, look, Really, honestly, uh, Jerry Neely, uh, our equipment manager, I was having a long talk with him, and it was a couple of days before I made my decision. And he really kind of just looked at me, and he said, he was like, man, look, like, I don't know what's going through your head. I don't know if you want to stay or if you want to leave. I don't know what you're, what, what you're planning on doing. But just know, like, if you stayed and, and you just continue to do what you're doing uh, throughout the 2020 uh, season, He's like, you'll be legendary here. You know, you, you can get in the Hall of Fame at Arizona State. You can be a certified Chandler, Tempe, Arizona legend. And I went home and I literally just thought about that for hours. I'm just like, man, like all the all the BS and all the hard work that's got to go through this year, like, is it going to be worth it? And I talked to my moms and she said, you know, it's really, I think it would be the best decision to come back and ball out this next year and then, you know, go as high as you can and, put Arizona State on the map. So I just, I went to sleep that night, woke up and told Coach Hawk and told all, everybody like, man, look, I'm coming back. Make sure you save a spot for me this year. So, and then I think honestly, man, it is the best decision I've made. And what are you working on to get better? What is the one thing you really want to work on this year? Uh, The one thing I really, really want to work on honestly is, uh, is really just shining light on all the young kids, you know, I've been 19, 18, 20, shoot, I just turned 24. So, you know, I got some years on these kids and I believe that if I show them the right way or show them opposite of what, uh, you know, the leaders uh, uh, when I was here, when I was young here showed me, I feel like Arizona State could be the next Alabama and it, it could be the next powerhouse in the Pac-12. And, and I, uh, Herm and Coach Hawk and Coach AP said it all, it all starts with me. So if I'm going to be the legendary guy that I keep saying I want to be, I, I got to change some things. So I'm going to change some things around here. Christian? Yeah, Chase, you mentioned some of the young DBs coming in, but I was wondering, you know, elsewhere on the defense, who are some of the young guys you've seen who've impressed you and how have you seen the talent level on the defense rise over your years of the program? Man, tenfold. Uh, I got to I gotta give a real good, a real big shout out to uh, Antonio Pierce and, and Coach Hawk and, you know, Coach Rod and all the all all, all the defensive uh, recruits because they went and recruited their butts off. You know, they took time from their family and really went and recruited. But some young guys that I, you know I got to give it to is Eric. You know, uh, one of the linebackers. Kids, kids going to be a great great addition to the team. Um, Omar, Omar is a a train that can't be stopped at some points, and I, I'm so excited for his future here. Uh, like I mentioned, T. Lee Mason. Jordan Clark, uh, I, I don't even look at him as a young guy. You know, he, he started with us last year. Um, there's just uh, so many. It's really just so many. Connor, Connor Soli is out there doing his thing. And, 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 and I think that's the biggest thing. Like, everybody wants to be with the ones. But we have 11 starters that came back. So you got to beat us out of our job. And I believe that uh, competition brings the best out of everybody. So I think the young kids is knowing, like, like, yeah, this is where I want to be because everybody wants to compete for it, you know. And, and like I said, Tommy Tommy uh, Hill, I I think he's going to be a great kid, great, great addition to the team. You know, he's really soaking up all the knowledge and, and, and information that me and Jack and all of the secondary is giving to him, and he's getting better and better every day. And um, I'm, I'm really, really excited to, you know, go into the 2021 season with all of them and then, you know, going to the NFL and seeing – 
uh, all these kids can uh, carry on the, the tradition and, and the culture that, that we uh, put into this building. A few more questions for Chase. Michael. Yeah, Chase, to kind of piggyback off that with AP, I mean, last year I know he's co-defensive coordinator with Coach Lewis, but him calling the defenses this year, do you feel – through so far through spring practice that there's more of a comfort that you guys are all you guys are on the same page with this play calling oh yeah uh, definitely uh, to me I, I like i really feel like like i said we had 11 starters back to the you know back coming back so on the defensive side of the ball so like really honestly you can call man or or cover three or cover two all game and we're, we're gonna play the hardest cover two cover three man you'll ever see so i really think we got we ended up getting comfortable with the play calls because Leaders like Kyle Soley, D Black, Merlin, me, Jack, we all were harping on the young guys to take notes, you know, during during um, during meetings. I think uh, Marv, our coach Lewis, he hit it really big last year. He would get on all of us like, why isn't you, why don't you guys have a note, uh, a notepad and pencil out? Like you guys want to be in the NFL. Well, this is this is this is a pro model. This is what the NFL does. And I believe when we took that into the spring ball and and me managing people's film times and all that, it was just like, we knew what we were doing. We, we knew what we were doing before we touched the, the field. And I, I got to give that a lot of credit to, to, the, to the coaches. They're, they've done a phenomenal job on from the D line all the way to the secondary. I think they've done a phenomenal job teaching us. Jordan. Yeah. Hey, Chase. Uh, a little bit earlier, Herm mentioned that he remembers coming into the program and sitting down and talking with you and just kind of saying like he knew you were going to be a leader one day. How much of this did you see coming? I mean, obviously you didn't see an, an extra year coming, but how much of your leadership now did you see coming back when Herm started a few years ago? Man, I came a long way. I, I'll tell you guys a quick story. Uh, last year, uh, I was working my tail off. Uh, all I could think about was just being a captain, you know, my final year of being a captain. And I ended up not getting it. You know, I ended up not getting the the, the C on my chest. And I remember uh, when when Herm pulled back the, 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 uh, the paper and all the names was on there, I just remember sitting there looking at it and just feeling my heart break. You know what I mean? I put so much hard work and dedication into it, into something that I didn't get. And I remember walking out of the meeting crying, like bawling, bawling tears. And, and, and Herm came up to me and, and stopped me and said, look, man, like, don't, don't let, you know, don't let this bug you. You know what I mean? They're just that, that this, this is just, these are just names. You know what I'm saying? These, these are who we thought that could be the captains of the team. And I asked him and I was being real with him. I said, man, look, like, why, why didn't you pick me? He said, you did nothing wrong. Chase, you did everything perfect, but these guys did did it better than you. So I shook my head and I told him, I said, okay, I said, I, I, I can respect that. I didn't give him no other, no other reason not to give me that C on this, on my chest this year. You know what I mean? I, I just felt like I was out to prove something. I was out to prove something to myself, to Herm and to everybody that, that doubted me out here. And um, like I said, man, I think it was the best decision that I've made. And I'm just really, really blessed to be a captain on this football team. Last question, Ethan. Yeah, Chase, going back a little bit to yourself, what makes Chase different on the field and maybe off of it too? And what makes Chase Lucas legendary? Ooh, man. Well, I mean, uh, one thing, I don't think there's ever been a five-year starter <laughs> in a Pac-12 history. So I think that's legendary, one thing. But how I carry myself on and off the field is the same. You know, I'm, I always just keep my head high. You know what I mean? I just always want to – uh be the best energy, you know what I mean? I, I, like kind of how Frank Darby was, you know? And no matter if you saw him at the truck at, at a truck station or at a, at a bus stop in here in class, he was always the same. And he never, you know, lowered the throttle on that. So me living with him for, what, four years, it just rubbed off on me. It really did. And, and, and I feel like what's going to make me legendary is me separating myself from how I was my freshman, junior, I mean, my freshman, sophomore, junior, and, and, and last year even. Like, I feel like there's always room for improvement. And whether it's film, whether it's me getting right uh, with Coach Joe in the weight room, I just feel like there's always room for, me, for improvement. And until I feel like I've done everything I can to check off all those boxes, I'm not going to be legendary. And, and, and hopefully that, that, will, that will start by August, September when we start playing. Great stuff. Thank you, Chase. Yep, appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Thanks Chase. Man.